Okay, we're gonna rotate a vector 3. This yellow object is gonna represent our point. Let me show you through code. This is how we rotate it. So, we write our transforms. And now, to rotate a vector 3, we're gonna take our position for now. To rotate a vector 3, as a reference, we're gonna do quaternion dot Euler and we're gonna give it three values let's put 0 90 which is a float and 0 and then we're not done we're gonna multiply this by transform position itself what this is going to do is gonna start on every frame rotating the position of that yellow orb and it's gonna look like a helicopter to make it more noticeable I'm gonna put 45 now when we go back and hit play, you'll see it's rotating every frame, but we can program it so it doesn't do that. So what happens here is that quaternions is basically this field over here with the rotation. Unity sees, interprets this as a quaternion. Basically these three numbers are the same numbers you would put in this rotation. And this function basically turns that into a quaternion which has a special function where when it's multiplied it first you first write a quaternion and then you multiply a, a vector 3 it's gonna rotate it and basically move it around we can do something similar if we grab a, a regular vector 3 not necessarily a position it's going to not rotate the vector position but rotate this vector over here and now if we hit play you're gonna see that it's start, gonna start rotating 45 degrees previous back position which over here was x5 and 00 so it just rotated 45 degrees and it changed here to 45 degrees now what if we wanted to rotate like properly smooth the entire vector well for that what we're going to do is we're going to basically multiply this for uh, time that scale like if we were doing a uh, moving anything with transform we multiply it by time delta time and to make life easier I'm just gonna multiply position but you can also store that position in the vector 3 and would we'll do the same and to make things more interesting I'm gonna grab the x-axis and I'm gonna also rotate it by instead of we're gonna do 90 degrees so what this does is basically it's gonna rotate 90 degrees every second and on the y axis x axis i mean and this is gonna rotate it 45 degrees on the y axis and as you see there it's now doing a weird circle it's rotating but only through these points and it never gets over here it's doing like an ellipse and we can change those numbers even further let's put everything 45 so we have a like this sphere up here and you see it's now gonna rotate like a sphere and make a circle okay so that's basically how it works it's a bit long so if you want to try in this this function also takes in a vector 3 so for example we can go make a vector 3 that stores our angles and bam and we have this should be basically the same and we can also multiply this by time dot delta time and we can get the same effect as earlier and now if I change our rotation value here it's gonna change basically how it rotates we can also go insane and go basically 180 and 180 over here is basically filling it very fast and three Let's put 45 here. And yeah, that's how you rotate a vector. You can use this to set your direction for stuff. And it also works for rotating on game objects. If this tutorial was useful, let me know in the comments and subscribe and check out more videos like this.